na ndio mimi nataka niwashukuru sana mimi nimefurahi sana kufika hapa Sagana Rigiji deputy wangu jana ni, tumesimama pale eh Kiamariga hapo madukani ameni introduce kwa watu wa hapa watu wa nyumba kumi ameni introduce kwa ule mwangi wa mbembe mimi nimekula mahindi jana nimeona kweli anatosha ameni introduce kwa muti ya kuuza nyama na sasa mimi nitakuwa muti ya kijiji hapa ile maneno yote ya kijiji hapa tafadhali msinisahau wakati mnaitana munitumie muni salamu pia niweze kuwa kwa hiyo kikundi na niko na mtu yangu ya kunifikishia maneno rigiji yuko hapo nimefurahi sana kufika hapa mambo mengi ya maendeleo ya taifa letu la Kenya na hasa ya mlimani hapa nitaketi chini na hawa wabunge na magavana wetu na mawaziri hawa tuketi hapa tukubaliane mambo ambayo tumeandika katika mpango yetu ya plan ya kupeleka Kenya mbele nataka ni wahakikishie maneno ya kumbukumbu la Torati ama Deuteronomy 28 mstari wa 12 kwa sababu tuko kanisani inasema Mungu atatufungulia hazina yake God is going to open his good treasures for us Inasema Mungu atatupatia mvua kwa wakati wake. He is going to give us rain in season. Inasema Mungu atabariki kazi ya mikono yetu. God is going to bless the work of our hands. Na inasema jambo la ine kwamba sisi kama inchi hatutakopa tena lakini tutakopesha wengine we will not borrow but we are going to lend hiyo ndio nchi ambayo tunasema hapa mlimani Mungu ametuahidi and we have no reason not to trust god na ndio bishop william ametuambia tunavuka hiyo upande mahali hiyo maneno iko Mimi nataka niwahakikishie tunafanya bidii na hawa ndugu zangu deputy wangu mawaziri na wale wengine wote ma PS wetu tunafanya bidii na wao deputy wangu niliwaeleza ya kwamba kazi yetu ya kwanza ni kudhibiti uchumi wa taifa letu to stabilize the economy of our country kwa sababu tulikuwa pahali hatari sana mahali madeni ilikuwa nyingi na mpango wa vile tutayasuluhisha hatukuwa nayo kikamilifu napenda kuwaeleza ya kwamba we have stabilized the economy of the republic of kenya tumehakikisha kwamba mambo ya kukopa madeni kulia kushoto mbele na nyuma na juu na chini tumekomesha katika budget tuliyopeleka eh, bunge tuki huyu nilimwambia huyu kijana ndindi nyoro kwa sababu yeye ndio chairman wetu wa budget nikamwambia hakuna budget itaenda kupelekwa bunge ya madeni tukaondoa madeni karibu nusu trilioni ambaye ilikuwa imewekwa huko tukasokondoa tukasema we must build this country on the solid foundation not on the foundation of debt na tumedhibiti uchumi sasa maajabu ni kwamba wiki iliyopita waziri wangu wa fedha yuko hapa bwana professor sasa 
Unajua tuko na deni kubwa tulikopa ina, inafaa kulipwa mwezi wa sita mwaka ujao. Ya 2 billion dollars huko mwezi wa sita mwaka ujao. Sasa wakati tumeketi chini tumepanga. Na tumesema hii deni hatuwezi kuongoja mpaka next year. Tumeanza sasa kuipangia vile tutalipa mapema. Sasa wale watu wakora wanaitwa eh, credit rating agencies wale wamezoea kutumia ukora kuongeza madeni yetu wakasikia tuko na mpango ya kulipa deni kabla haijafika siku yenyewe sasa last week wameandika mabarua kulalamika mbona Kenya inataka kulipa madeni mapema mbona sasa kwa sababu walikuwa na ngoja at to default huko mbele. Na huyu profesa nimepata mtu ambaye anajua maneno. Ndiye aliniambia hii kitu wacha tupange mapema. Tukatafuta marafiki. Sasa hii deni tutalipa kabla siku yake. Ndio wale wametupangia watakoma, watakambulia patupu. Na kwa sababu tumesema we are building our country on the solid foundation of our economy built around the taxes we raise na tuko na mwalimu ambaye ametufundisha hii kazi huyo mwalimu ni mtu ambaye alitoka na huku nyeri mnajua mzee kibaki wakati alichukua usukani kama rais tulikuwa tunakusanya bilioni mbili kama taifa akatuambia tulipe ushuru nyinyi mlisikia nyinyi mnajua lipa kodi hiyo ndio ilikuwa luka ya mzee kibaki akatusukuma wakati alikuwa anaondoka baada ya miaka kumi. tumetoka 200 billion tumefika 1 trillion tumeongeza ushuru yetu five times wakati wa mzee kibaki nyinyi mnanielewa sasa mnafikiri mimi nitakosea nisifuate hapo kwa mzee kibaki mwenye aletufundisha inchi inajengwa na kodi inchi inajengwa na ujuru haijengwi na madeni hapo ndio tuko hao ni hotori sio kama tunaelewana na mimi nilifanya kazi na mzee Kibaki na ndio nikiwa waziri wake wa fedha uh, wa, wa kilimo Ndiyo aliniambia tafuta mbinu ya kuteremusha hii bei ya mbolea. Na mnajua mbolea ilikuwa 6000 siku hiyo tukaleta mpaka 2500. Ndiyo hapo hapo nimefikisha tena kwa sababu ya mazomo ya ule mzee alikuwa mbele yetu. And that is the direction we are going to take our country. Tumekubaliana kwamba we are having vile Neno la Mungu limesema Mungu atatupatia mvua kwa wakati wake. Nakumbuka tukienda Nyayo Stadium na Pastor Doga hapa na maskofu hapa. Tukaenda tukaomba pale Nyayo Stadium. Nafikiri ilikuwa mwezi wa tatu hapo mwezi wa pili. Watu wengine wakatuchekelea wakasema angalia hawa. Ati rais mzima ameenda Nyayo Stadium atikuombea mvua. Lakini Mungu ni nani jameni? Tulipata mvua hatukupata mvua. Leo kwa mvua Mungu ametupatia. Kwa mpango ambaye tumeweka ya kushusha bei ya mbolea. Leo tunangojea mavuno. Saa hizi ile kazi na nisumbua akili ni hii chakula iko shambani sitaki yaribike. Na ndio nimemwambia huyu waziri wetu wa kilimo si nimekuambia wewe linturi nimemwambia huyu kwenda tafuta dryers tunataka chakula ikitoka shambani tuwe na dryers tupange mambo ya eh, commodity exchange wakulima wapate mahali ya kuuza mazao yao na tuhakikisha kwamba hii aibu ya njaa tunaondoa katika taifa letu la Kenya kwa sababu jameni kama Mungu ametuahidi atatupatia mvua kwa wakati wake tutaendelea kuwa na njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya 
Mungu pia ametuambia he will bless the work of our hands. Na ndio sababu kwa mara ya kwanza katika budget ya taifa letu la Kenya tumeweka mpango wa kusomesha watoto wetu lakini vile vile for the first time tumeweka mpango ya ajira ya watoto wakitoka shuleni wakitoka college wakitoka university na ndio mnasikia tumeweka mpango ya housing tumeweka mpango ya digital jobs tumeweka mpango ya kuajiri vijana ambao watakaenda eh, kazi zingine ambazo tumeongea na viongozi wengine wengi because we want god to bless the works of our hands na lazima tuwe na mpango ya vile kazi itapatikana ndio Mungu atubarikie hiyo kazi tukifanya ndio kwa mara ya kwanza Kenya watu walikuwa wanauliza hii kitu inaitwa finance bill imetoka wapi imewekwa mjadala Kenya mzima iko kitu inaitwa finance bill hii finance bill imekuwa kila siku imekuwa tangu tuwe nchi huru lakini for the first time the biggest conversation in Kenya ile mjadala kubwa katika taifa letu la Kenya mwaka huu si ni mjadala ya finance bill yes because we are discussing the economy and we are discussing how we can run away from debt and how we can raise local resources and how we can create jobs for our young people katika hiyo budget bali na kupanga vile tutapata ajira ya vijana wetu vijana wetu wanaangaika kwa pombe na bangi na madawa na tukiwatoa huko tulazima tuwapangie kazi ambayo watafanya na ndio tumesema vile vile katika hiyo mpango ya budget ile mambo yote ambayo tunaweza kutengeneza hapa Kenya hatutaki tena tuagize kutoka nchi zingine tumesema simiti na nimemwambia Moses Kuria si unajua waziri tumekubaliana na huyu Moses Kuria simiti chuma furniture sijui samaki ile inatolewa sijui China na wapi na wapi na wapi hakuna tena tutakuwa tunavua samaki Kenya tunatengeneza furniture Kenya tunatengeneza chuma Kenya tunatengeneza simiti Kenya tutapanua factories zetu ya ajiri vijana wa Kenya tujenge uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya ndio tuweze kuondoa umaskini katika taifa letu la Kenya Mungu atatubarikia kazi zetu za mikono na mna gani ndugu zangu kama hizo za kazi hatujaipangia How will God bless us How will God bless the works of our hands if our young people are jobless Hiyo ndio mpango yetu Na kabisa mimi nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba mpango yetu kwa mambo ya kilimo nilimwambia rigiji brokers katel wakora watoke kwa chai watoke kwa kahawa watoke kwa mambo ya e, maziwa yetu tupange hiyo kazi ifaidi wakulima wetu amefanya mkutano ya chai ameita watu wote amefanya mkutano ya kahawa anapanga ya maziwa ndio tuhakikisha kwamba hiyo sekta yote tunaipangia vizuri and i want to give you my commitment ya kwamba pale tunajua ndio inabeba watu wengi kilimo tukisuluhisha matatizo yetu ya kilimo tutaweka utajiri kwa watu wengi katika taifa letu la Kenya and that's what we are going to do so mimi nawashukuru sana hiyo mpango yote tumeipangia vizuri na Mungu atatusaidia atatubarikia hawa maaskofu mmesikia pastor Dokas amesema hii serikali ilipatikana kwa maombi na itasimamishwa na kuendeshwa na maombi so muendelee kutuombea muendelee kuombea taifa letu la Kenya na sisi tutafanya bidii upande wetu nataka niwashukuru wabunge wetu hawa wabunge wetu jameni wapigie makofi wametupitishia mambo kule bunge walikuwa wanapatiwa vitisho wanaambiwa so kitaumana siju hautarudi hapa siju utaenda wapi lakini because we know what we want to do because our nation lazima tuibadilishe 
kwa mipango, kwa miradi, kwa mambo ya maendeleo ndio mnaona tunashikana tuko timu moja bunge wanafanya kazi yao sisi katika executive tunafanya kazi yetu wale katika judiciary wanaendesha mambo na sisi wote tunataka tujenge taifa letu la Kenya mimi nataka ni washukuru sana kwa kutushikilia mimi niko hapa mulimani masiku kadhaa tutakutana kesho kwa shughuli ya mambo ya maendeleo najua tuko na barabara nyingi nimeambiwa na huyu wa Mombe ananikaza sana sijui barabara eh, kia mavara sijui wapi nini nini hiyo barabara zote iko katika mpango yetu mtatupatia toka nafasi kidogo tupange mambo ya ku raise eh, resources mwezi moja mwezi mbili mtatuona tumeanza hiyo kazi na tunaanza kwa kasi kwa sababu sasa tuko na budget ambayo tumeipangia vizuri ya kupeleka mambo ya taifa letu mbele mambo ya maendeleo ya taifa letu mbele ile kitu mimi nawauliza wa Kenya wote ni kwamba hatuna taifa ingine taifa ambayo tuko nayo ni hii moja inaitwa Kenya na hatuwezi kukubali ya kwamba hii taifa letu iharibike sisi ni inchi na ni vizuri niseme sisi ni inchi ambayo tunafuata sheria sisi ni inchi ambayo imesimamia katiba sisi ni wanademokrasia na sisi ni inchi ambayo tunaweka amani na tunaweka umoja tumesema ya kwamba sisi wote tutaheshimu sheria tutaheshimu katiba yetu tutaheshimu demokrasia yetu ile kitu ambayo tumesema haitafanyika tena Kenya yetu ni mambo ya vita kuharibu mali ya wananchi kuharibu biashara ya wananchi kuharibu mali ya umma barabara na mali ingine ya umma hiyo tumesema sio demokrasia sio kufuata sheria sio kufuata katiba ya Kenya na sio uzalendo wa aina yoyote kuharibu mali kuendesha vita na kulete chuki kwa wakenya that is not how we build a nation wengi many people want to tell us we are taking kenya backwards i want to tell them we are taking kenya forwards by refusing violence by refusing anarchy destruction of property whether private or public that's how to move the country forward those engaged those who propagate violence and destroy property and destroy public property and destroy life and destroy people's business those are the ones who are taking our country backwards to the dark days where Kenya was violent and i want to say as kenyans kenyan leaders irrespective of what sides we belong to or what persuasions we come from we must stand together to say no against violence against anarchy against destruction of, prop of property because that is violence undermines democracy violence works against the rule of law violence works against us as a nation and we must all stand together to say no to violence and i am telling even our brothers in the opposition they must be unequivocal on matters violence there is no opposition there is no government on matters of violence we must all stand on the same side because it undermines who we are it undermines our nation it undermines our democracy 
It undermines the rule of law and it is unconstitutional and illegal and undemocratic to cause violence and destroy people's property and destroy our nation, sabotaging our economy. So, sisi wote tusimame upande moja. Na mimi nataka ni washukuru wa Kenya wote kwa sababu tumekubaliana. Watu wengi wanashangaa pengine haya mambo ya maandamano ambayo tuletea fujo. Naamini ya kwamba kuna sababu ilifanyika. Ndio tukubaliane kabisa once and for all ya kwamba there will be no more violent demonstrations in Kenya. Hatukua tumepata nafasi ya kusema. I think we are now agreed that there will be no more violent demonstrations in Kenya that destroy property, that destroy people's uh, uh, lives, and that destroy our public property. Sisi wote tunasimama upande moja. So, na washukuru sana ndugu zangu watu wa Nyeri, ndugu zangu watu wa Mlima Kenya, tunawapenda sana, tunawaenzi, na tutashirikiana kujenga taifa letu la Kenya moja ambayo tumeunganika kama wananchi wa taifa la Kenya. Na tumesoma kutoka kwenu the same way the people of this region led the nation in uniting Kenya and refusing ethnicity. That is what we are going to do. We are going to unite the whole country. Tutaleta wa Kenya wote pamoja kwa sababu mumetuongoza kama watu wa mlima Kenya kuleta wa Kenya wote pamoja na kukataa ukabila na kukataa kugawanywa na kukataa mambo ya chuki na kukataa fitina so nataka tuwe inchi moja that is how we are going to bring the nation together energize our development and drive our prosperity and collective good for our nation